I will bless the Lord at all times. God's praise shall continually be in my mouth. I will magnify the Lord with all my heart, with all my spirit, with all my joy on this week as we celebrate Kwanzaa. Bless the Lord right now. Bless the Lord right now. Bless the Lord as we celebrate Kwanzaa. If you would join with me at this moment that we might go to God in prayer on this Kwanzaa. Let us pray. God of our weary years, God of our silent tears, who has brought us thus far along the way, we celebrate this day, the work of our ancestors. We celebrate this day, the collective work of our community, recognizing the necessity for self-determination and cooperative economics and the power of purpose and faith. We come today to celebrate Kwanzaa. May your spirit rest upon your people this day. May your guidance be received by us. May we elevate and also lift up in a myriad of ways our ancestors, the work of those who went before us, who placed us in the position we are today. May we, O oh God, be used by you and be your hands and your feet in the mighty and wonderful, blessed, majestic, powerful, liberating name of Jesus, who is the Christ, we pray and the people of God, who love God, may say, Amen. As we celebrate our national holiday called Kwanzaa, we invite you and your family and friends to join together around your devices and watch each one of these powerful, powerful services. During the services, we will take the time to explore each one of the Kwanzaa principles. We pray that something that is said or done might bless you in such a way that you might be ready to go out and impact our community in ways that it has never been impacted before. Habari Ghani. It's Reverend Dr. Jeremiah A. Wright Jr., our pastor emeritus, that reminds us about three generations that exist amongst us as people of African descent. The first generation, those who are present. That second generation, he reminds us, is those who are yet to be born, those in the womb of women or those who will yet come into existence. And finally, he reminds us of that generation who has transitioned through the veil of time. And today we take the time to honor those who have transitioned, those who have now become ancestors amongst us. And today I invite you to get the name of one of those persons or one or more of those persons who have transitioned through the veil of time in your family. And as I pour the water, you will say their name and we will end by saying Ashe. Leora Williams, Ashe. Alma Edwards, Ashe. J.C. Edwards, Ashe. Reverend Barbara Allen, Ashe. Ashe, Ashe, and amen. God, we thank you for the lives and the witness of all of those who have transitioned through the veil of time but still exist amongst us to serve as the great cloud of witnesses that guide us day in and day out. We thank you for their lives and we thank you for their legacies and we ask, oh God, that you would allow us to forever remember them as we continue to live our lives and do the things that you've called us and created us to do in this earth. We ask these things in your precious son Jesus' name as we say together, amen. There was a time when the idea of a black Wall Street was not unusual in our community.
Banks, grocery stores, insurance companies, and even hotels were not uncommon in many African-American communities. Through your generosity, your church, Trinity United Church of Christ, has pledged and continues to support Black-owned businesses, such as our Federal Credit Union, the Black Farming Community of Black Oak Center in Pembroke, Illinois, Black professionals, and Black-owned banks and financial institutions. Today, Your gifts of tithes and offerings will allow this work to go on for future generations. Let's continue to reinvest in our community and honor the legacy of our ancestors. For scripture says, give, invest, and you will receive. Your gift will return to you in full. Press down, shake it together to make room for more. Running over and poured into your lap. The amount you give, the amount you invest, will determine the amount you get back. There are multiple ways for you to support the ministry of Trinity United Church of Christ with your tithes and offerings. You may give through our Secure Give app. You may also text to give by dialing 855-781-8384. Give via our cash app, dollar sign, Trinity UCC, or use our website. With a few easy clicks, you will be well on your way to support this ministry. Also, our First Fruits Direct Draft Program allows you to make your church a priority. And if you prefer to mail your gift, simply send your tithe or donation to 400 West 95th Street, Chicago, Illinois, 60628. Thank you for supporting Trinity United Church of Christ, the greatest church this side of the Jordan. I light the candle representing the first principle of Kwanzaa, which is Umoja, meaning unity. I ask that you pray with me on the subject, Umoja, the power of unity. And for my scripture, I will be using John 17th chapter, the gospel of John 17th chapter, 21st verse, which reads that all of them may be one. Father, just as you are in me and I am in you. May they also be in us so that the world may believe that you have sent me. Let us pray. Gracious God, my Father, I thank you now for the privilege of standing before your people. Lord, I thank you and ask that you would come now and gather in our midst. Lord, I ask that you would forgive me of my sins, Lord, that you would cleanse me and make me whole. Now, Lord, help me to preach with clarity, with simplicity, and with power from on high. Now, Lord, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my most blessed Redeemer. This is my prayer that I ask now in the name of Jesus. Let every heart say, Amen. Amen. Umoja, or unity lies at the core of human existence and community building. It is a principle that underscores the interconnectedness of individuals, families, and communities, emphasizing the strength that arises when people come together in solidarity. Umoja is the foundation upon which all other principles rest. It is a call to togetherness, a reminder that we are stronger when we stand united. Umoja challenges us to reflect on the importance of unity in our lives. It calls us to acknowledge the interconnectedness of our existence Just as a single thread alone is weak, but woven together with others creates a strong fabric, so too are we stronger when we stand together. Today we gather to reflect 
on the profound strength and resilience that comes from unity within the black community. In a world where challenges may be numerous, we find solace and empowerment in standing together as one. History has shown us the struggles faced by black individuals from the hardships of slavery to the ongoing fight for equality. Yet through it all, a remarkable spirit has emerged, a spirit rooted in unity, perseverance, and the unwavering belief that together we can, we can, and we will overcome. Proverbs 27 and 17 tells us, as iron sharpens iron, so one person sharpens another. This wisdom resonates deeply within our community. We stand together, supporting and uplifting one another, we become together, we become a force that cannot be easily broken. Our shared experiences, stories, and culture intertwine to create a tapestry of strength that withstands the test of time. It is essential that we recognize the value of solidarity, not just in times of of adversity, but in our everyday lives. As we navigate the complexities of the world, let us build bridges instead of walls. Extend hands instead of turning away. Our unity is not a mere collection of individuals. It is a living testament to the beauty of diversity and shared purpose. In Ephesians 4 and 3, we are reminded to make every effort to keep the unity of the Spirit through the bond of peace. This bond of peace is not just an abstract concept, concept but a call to action, a call to actively support one another, to celebrate our successes, and to lift each other up in times of struggle. Ephesians 4, 2 through 6 urges us to be completely humble and gentle. Be patient, bearing with one another in love. Make every effort to keep the unity of the spirit through the bond of peace. There is one body and one spirit, just as you are called to one hope when you were called. One Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God, and one Father of all who is over all and through all and in all. In Exodus 17, 8 through 13, you can look this up later, we encounter the negative, the narrative of the battle between the Israelites and the Am Amalekites. As the battle ensued, Moses climbed to the hilltop, raising his hands in prayer to God. During the course of the battle, Whenever Moses held, his, held up his hands, the Israelites prevailed. However, when he lowered his hands, the Amalekites gained the upper hand. Recognizing the importance of Moses' raised hands, Aaron and Ur stood on each side, supporting him until sunset. Through this collective effort, because they helped him, not just for a minute, but all through the night. Because they did their part, the Israelites secured victory. This story 
beautifully illustrates the significance of unity and collective support. The raised hands of Moses symbolize prayer, trust, and dependence on God. However, equal, equally important, equally important are the hands of Aaron and Ur, representing the unity and mutual support within the community. In the same way, our journey as a united black community is akin to the Israelites march through the wilderness. We face battles and challenges, both external and internal, but our strength lies in our collective unity. Like Aaron and Ur supporting Moses, we uplift each other through prayer, encouragement, and shared determination. No man is an island. We're not meant to live alone. The, wrong, the songwriter said, I need you and you need me. We're all a part of God's family. Al Jarreau put it like this, we're in this thing together and we've got to have the kind that will last forever. Just as the Israelites prevailed when they stood together, we too find victory when we unite. Our unity is not just a symbolic gesture. It is an active, tangible force that propels us forward, helping us overcome obstacles and celebrate triumphs as one united people. In the Gospel of John, chapter 17, verse 21, Jesus prays that all of them may be one. That all of them may be one, Father, just as we, as you are in me and I am in you. May they also be in us so that the world may believe that you sent me. These words highlight not only the divine call for unity, but also its transformative impact on the world. The oneness that Jesus speaks of transcends individual differences. It is a unity that mirrors the harmonious relationship between the Father and the Son. In embracing this oneness, we not only honor the teachings of Christ, but also become a living testimony to the transformative power of unity. Our journey toward oneness aligns with the essence of brotherhood and sisterhood that defines the black community. As we stand together bound by shared history, culture, and a collective vision for a better future, we embody the unity that Jesus prayed for, a unity that bears witness to the love and grace of God. In promoting unity in our community, we are reminded of the principle of no big eyes and little use. This concept encourages us to discard the notion of hierarchy and pride, recognizing that each individual contributes to the collective strength of our community. In 1 Corinthians 12, 12 through 27, the Apostle Paul eloquently compares the body of Christ to a human body, emphasizing the interconnectedness and equal importance of each part. As the hand cannot, just as the hand cannot say to the foot, I don't need you. We too must recognize that every member of our community plays a vital role in our united success. 
by embracing the idea of no big eyes and little U's, we dismantle any sense of superiority or inferiority. Each person, regardless of their role or status, contributes uniquely to the richness of our collective experience. Umoja, this principle calls us to value every individual, acknowledging their inherent worth and the, uni and the unique gifts they bring to our community. Umoja, in unity, there is strength. And when we eliminate the distinctions between big and small, important and less important, we create an environment where everyone feels valued. This fosters a sense of belonging and encourages active participation from all members, promoting a harmonious and empowered community. And as we strive for unity, let us internalize the truth that no one is insignificant. Each person with their talents, experiences, and perspectives contribute to the mosaic of our community. In embracing the principle of no big eyes and little use, we cultivate an atmosphere of mutual respect, cooperation, and shared responsibility, building a stronger and more inclusive community for all. Let us carry the spirit of oneness with us beyond these sacred walls. May our unity not be confined to this moment, but extend into our homes, workplaces, and every corner of our lives. As we strive to be one, may the world witness the transformative power of a united community inspired by the divine call to love and stand together. And as I close, let us remember the words of Maya Angelou. We all should know that diversity makes for a rich tapestry. And we must understand that all the threads of the tapestry are equal in value, no matter their color. Together, we are creating a tapestry of strength, resilience, and enduring unity. May we continue to walk this journey hand in hand, supporting and uplifting one another every step of the way. Let us walk, work, and live in unity. Yumoja, God bless you. Now let us pray. Gracious God, we thank you, Lord, for this time together. We thank you, Lord, that you are calling us to unite and to be one as you and Jesus and the Holy Spirit are one. Lord, we thank you for what you're about to do in the lives of your people. Now let it be so. This is our prayer that we ask now in the name of Jesus. And we say amen. The Lord bless you and the Lord keep you. The Lord make his face to shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace. Amen. Thank you for joining our worship service tonight. If you're interested in becoming a part of Trinity United Church of Christ, we invite you to email newmember at trinitychicago.org 
and one of the members of our team will be in touch with you as soon as possible. We would love to have you be a part of this great village called Trinity United Church of Christ. God bless you and may God smile upon you.